What is going on everyone? My name is Jack Southall and welcome to my WWE Raw review for January the 19th, 2015. And um, overall this was a pretty enjoyable Raw. Um, I didn't get... it was a alright show overall. Um, a lot of legends came in for the Raw reunion and a lot of shit happened. So let's get into it. Um, we come to you tonight from the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. Um, before the show began, we've got a Martha, Martin Luther King Jr. tribute. I think it was like Martin Luther King Jr. Day, or like a couple of days ago. So, uh, yeah, nice little tribute there for him. And so, we open up the show with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman coming out. He's pissed. He wants Rollins to come out so we can beat his ass after what he did to him last week. But, of course... The Authority comes out because it's not an opening segment without The Authority. Um, Triple H comes out, um, and so does fucking Stephanie. They try to calm him down and all that. And then, of course, Cena comes down the ramp in his brand new attire where he looks like a tropical packet of Skittles. So, um, he comes out, and they're all saying, like, I'm going to beat you at the Rumble, and just conversation between them and all that and then Triple H makes a match for tonight which we don't know and leaves it up to the WWE Universe to decide on the app um, in one of the stupidest app polls I've ever seen they want the fans to decide if John Cena should give up his um so here's the match if Cena wins then Ryback Luca, no, not Luca. Eric Rowan and Dolph Ziggler get their jobs back, but if he loses, he is out of the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match at Royal Rumble. So um, they take it to a poll to decide if he should do it, yes or no. Why can't he just decide for himself? I'm pretty sure Cena would like be like, yeah, I want my fucking friends back. But anyway, just a stupid little thing there. Um, it was a typical 20 minute long promo with The Authority and John Cena. And I think Seth Rollins was on Titan Tron, you know, poking at Lesnar and Cena, being a pussy bitch. But that's why I love him for it. He's such a good eel. Anyway, um, we get to our first match, which is Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan, a Royal Rumble 2014 rematch, which was. A really, really good match, if you haven't seen it, from last year's Rumble. I actually watched last year's Rumble yesterday, and it was a pretty damn good match. So, um, yeah, this is not as good as the Royal Rumble match. It's still pretty damn solid, you know, doing some good moves. White hits Brian with this massive clothesline that nearly decapitated him. But, of course, Kane had to come out and grace his bloody presence. And, um, so... Brian rolls Wyatt back into the ring for some reason, but Kane, like, pulls Brian off the apron. Referee gets distracted. He's thrown back in. Wyatt hits Sister Abigail and gets the win. So, uh, and then Kane just decides to beat the crap out of Daniel Bryan, which is going to lead to a match on SmackDown this Thursday now. Not Friday, Thursday. And... I think it's like a no disqualification match, but haven't they learned anything from last year? We don't want to see Daniel Bryan versus Kane because Kane's not cool anymore. Sorry, buddy. Anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. Um, we get to a backstage segment with Triple H, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash come in, Shawn Michaels comes in, and then what I thought was X Park. And he's doing all the crotch chopping and all that. And then I get to it. And then the real x Pac comes out. And I'm like, wait, who's that? And I found out it's Damien Mizdow. I'm like, Jesus, he's doing it pretty well. And then Miz comes out and he's like, oh, does the click sign and all that. And he's like, yeah, you want me to join and all that. And they're like, piss off. <laughs> and then Kevin Nash says... Um, What's happening to your show, man? And Triple H starts crying. Poor fella. Anyway, um... 
what else happened next? So, oh, we get the Legends panel, which was a really good segment. We get Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, and Ric Flair. And Byron Saxton asked them, which was all in the ring, and he asked them, who do you think is going to win the Rumble? Um, I believe Hulk Hogan went for Daniel Bryan. Um, Shawn Michaels went for Bray Wyatt, I believe. And Ric Flair went for Dean Ambrose. And very pretty damn good picks, in my opinion, that can actually win the Rumble. Um, I don't think... None of them picked Roman Reigns. Reigns? Gee, Reigns, there we go. In, um, as their prediction. And speaking of Roman Reigns, his enemy, The Big Show, decides to come out and cuts heel promo one-on-one. -on -one. You're a bunch of washed-up husbands and shit. Um, Big Show, hello, look who you're talking... You should be talking to yourself, buddy. But anyway, Roman Reigns comes out to save them from the big bad giant. Um, he didn't talk, thank Jesus. Um, but yeah, this is what you need to do with Roman Reigns. Don't have him talk too much. Like, have him come out there, be silent, just kick ass. That's all you need to do with him. Um... So we get backstage, John Cena is with Renee Young, and she um, has the results for um, the, if Cena should wrestle whoever and get Ryback, Rowan, and Ziggler's jobs back. 85% said yes, and uh, so he says he wants to fight, he wants the match, and tonight he will realize that the champ is here and all that. That's a typical Cena shenanigans. Next, we have Dean Ambrose versus Bad News Barrett. These two had a pretty, pretty good match over, overall. And what I was really happy was Dean Ambrose won a match. Yeah, really happy for that. You know, hopefully that gives Dean Ambrose that boost he needs for the Royal Rumble so people look at him as kind of like a dark horse sort of thing. So, yeah, that's good. Congrats to Ambrose. And so... We see next match we have the New Day, Biggie and Kofi Kingston taking on Cesaro and my boy Tyson Kidd. They have a pretty alright tag team match. Um, New Day wins. Um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, they, uh, I hope they go far in the tag team division. Hopefully they win the tag team titles, which um, should be good. Anyone back to the break. Uh, back from... Break. We have um, the NWO come out. Um, I think it was Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and X Park. I would have liked if Hogan went out there, but whatever. It was just those three guys. And then they say, "Oh, we're the NWO. We started the Monday Night Wars, and you know the typical NWO stuff." And then the Ascension comes out, and I'm like, "Oh boy!" and they just say, you guys are shit, we're better than you, you know, how they've been doing over the past few weeks since they've debuted. And then JBL gets out of his um, announce table chair, whatever the fuck, and he says, I'm sick of you guys disrespecting all the legends, you little shits. And then, damn, Ron Simmon com comes out, JBL tears off his shirt, and he's wearing an APA shirt underneath, and they come in there, and they confront the Ascension, and all of a sudden, oh, you didn't know? Yep. The New Age Outlaws come out, and they say the same thing, pretty much. So now, the Ascension are surrounded by these three dominant teams, and they get their asses kicked. Now, you can look at this segment, as much as I enjoyed the segment, in both ways. You can look at it as, oh, the authority... No, not the authority, fucking hell. The Ascension. It starts with an A, whatever. The Ascension got buried. Well, not really, but they got devalued and all that shit. Yeah, and then you can look at it from the other side and go, hey, they got to be in the ring with three of the best teams ever. And I kind of got that thought when I found out that the Ascension would face the New Age Outlaws on the Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which is going to be interesting. Hopefully the Ascension wins. So um, they get a nice boost up in the tag team division. Maybe they can win the tag team titles, which would be good. 
Um, that's, that's what they should do. Like, at the Royal Rumble, have the Ascension beat the New Age Outlaws, then have them beat APA, and then at WrestleMania, have them face whoever wins the tag team titles, probably the Usos, beats them at WrestleMania and wins the tag team titles. That'd be pretty good. Um, anyway, next up, we have... We're, we're here to find out who John Cena will be facing... Um, so, if he wins, he gets Ryback, Rowan, and Ziggler's jobs back. So, we, Triple H and Stephanie, are like, drum roll, please, to announce. And there's a guy actually doing the drum roll, and they fuck around with him a bit. And they say, John Cena is going to face Seth Rollins, The Big Show, and Kane. So, a three-on-one handicap match, real original. Um... So, yeah, um, another guy comes in with a trumpet and blows it in the face and tells him to bugger off. <laughs> I hope those two guys, like, show up some other time, because that was pretty funny. Anyway, um, how many times have I say anyway in this review? Um, we'll quickly just go through these matches. Um, Paige and Natalia beat Summer Rae and Alicia Fox, and they're going to face the Bella Twins at Royal Rumble. Lots of tag team matches at Royal Rumble this year. Um, Rusev squashes our truth. Um, Jey Uso beats the Miz, and then we get to the main event, which is John Cena versus Big Show, Seth Rollins and Kane. You know, you know the deal. If he wins, his buddies get to be in the WWE again, and if he loses, he's out of the World Heavyweight Championship match. So, um, yeah, an alright match, you know, Triple H and the Authority tried to come in and do their shenanigans, trying to make sure Cena doesn't lose and the Authority and all that. And then, um, so, Kane gets ready for a choke slam and nails it, hits, gets another two count. So, Rollins comes in, waits for Cena to get up, and then all of a sudden, fucking Sting appears who we haven't seen since Survivor Series, just appears on the fucking Titan Tron. And, um, and JBL's like, that's a damn picture, Cole, and all that. And so, Sting comes out and with, his mu with his shitty music. Please bring back that Crow theme from WCW. That was awesome. And so, Sting comes out. They're like, wait, what the hell? Um, Rollins is freaking out. Triple H is freaking out. The whole authority's freaking out. And then John Cena... Gets the roll up on Rollins. One, two, three. Ryback, Rowan, and Ziggler are back on the roster now. So, hooray for them. So, yeah, that'd be good. I'm happy that Ziggler's back. I don't care about Ryback and Rowan. I'm just happy that Ziggler's back. So, we might see them in the Royal Rumble match. So, Ryback, Rowan, and Ziggler are probably going to be in the Rumble match. So, that's good. Any So, um, after that bit, Triple H just... Gets pissed off at that. Um, he yells, Stoon, come back! Ugh, I'm pissed! Ugh, you know, like, all of that. Lesnar comes out, and he beats up most members of the... He beats up Big Show, he beats up Kane, because he wants to get to Rollins. And so, he hits Kane with the F5, and he hits the Big Show with the F5. Um, the authority runs off, and that's how we end the show with Lesnar kicking ass. Great way to end the show. Um, this was a pretty good Raw overall. Um, this might be because of nostalgia reasons, but, um, if it's, in my opinion, if it's a good Raw, then it's a good Raw. So, I'm going to give this one thumbs up. Um, yeah, recommend, if you're going to watch a few bits from this, Watch um, the NWO Ascension segment, the fucking, what was it, what was it called with um, Hogan, Michaels, and Flair, the Legends panel, that was it. it, Legends panel, and I guess the main event, only for Sting and Lesnar whipping ass and all that, but yeah, this was a good good raw, go watch it back, um, and that's going to be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, make sure to check me out on Twitter at jackamanlow 31 haven't plugged my Twitter in a while, um, and that's going to be it, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you for my Royal Rumble predictions video, if 
I make one. Hopefully my internet doesn't run out. And I'll probably do a Royal Rumble review if I can get to it. Um, that's going to be it. And I am out in three, two, one.